Om Swastiastu. Om Swastiastu. Hello, Sari. Hello. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to Conversations with Community Pillars. My name is Anouk Aoun, and I am one of the founding members of USADA Bali. And today I'm here with my dear friend Sari, a friend of USADA as well. And uh, Sari, thank you for uh, allowing us to come here and be with you and the ladies. Um, Sari and I met uh, quite a few years ago already mm -hmm. uh, as I was volunteering for a yoga class and some of the women from the center came to the class. And I remember one of those days you also came and at the very end of the class you sang with an angel-like voice. Sari <laughs> sang a, a song for all of us. And these are uh, little droplets of love that come into our life. <laughs> and out of that came this meeting. So, <clears throat> dear Sari, for those who do not know you, um, could you share a little bit about your story, about yourself? Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ibu Sari. Um, I'm Balinese. I was born in South Sulawesi and grew up in a few different jungles of uh, South Sulawesi and in Bali as well. I'm the founder of PKP Community Center. Now, as everyone could see, we have uh, our beautiful people behind us here doing so many different things. Mm -hmm. I have uh, two siblings. Uh, one is my beautiful sister also here, Chicken, <laughs> and one brother. Okay. And your brother also works in the center? Uh, yes, mm -hmm. yes, he does uh, focus on supporting the garden mm -hmm. things. So tell us, tell us how, how this uh, center came about. Um, eventually you will also, we hope you will also share with us what the center is about. But um, how did this come about? Yes, uh, I believe uh, every uh, beautiful things that people do, there is always a story behind, so mm -hmm. do myself. Uh, myself came from um, so many uh, challenges uh, in a previous uh, life, I could say. <laughs> um, yeah, financial struggles uh, since I was born in South Sulawesi and then grew up uh, in few different uh, areas around Bali. Uh, when my parent uh, moved back to Bali, then um, we hardly uh, survive uh, during uh, those time. Uh, those um, financial struggles uh, made my uh, our neighbor came to my dad and wanted to sell me and my sister because they thought that was the easiest way uh, for us to get money for our study, and that uh, triggered. Uh, triggered me uh, to commit suicide uh, myself uh, and that actually was the second time. <laughs> My first time was when I um, about uh, nearly 10 years old uh, when I found I was not uh, living in a family um, compound like a common people where my parent also uh, with me, so I felt I wasn't lucky enough uh, to uh, be a, uh, a child. And uh, I, yeah, I felt I was uh, not lucky enough uh, since I was little. Another, another few challenges uh, when I uh, got divorced. Uh, during my marriage and I got divorced and I couldn't uh, get my own daughter uh, because of the patriarchal society that uh, we have here in Bali. Mm -hmm. Then uh, I decided to uh, did the lockdown for a few months after I got divorced because I found myself um, 
a mother without my daughter mm. could not raise my daughter, mm. my child. Mm. Uh, and also being a divorced. Mm. Must have been very painful for you. I it is. Too. It was painful because mm. first I was very young and I had no idea where to go. Mm. Had no one taught me how how to respond all those uh, challenges mm. uh, in the past. Yeah. How old were you, Sadi, when you... I was nearly 20. Mm. Mm. I was nearly 20 when I got married, and then married was uh, more or less about two years. Mm. So mm. less than 25 years old, mm. with no opportunity to broaden my horizon, mm. so I didn't know how. Mm. how to respond, how to overcome mm. all the struggles uh, mm. or challenges mm. in, in the past. Mm. So, I mean, um, I myself haven't gone through the experience and that pain that you have gone through, but I can only, I can only imagine. And I wonder, and I often think about you, Sadi, and I wonder what then, um, what then, when you are experiencing so much pain as a mother, losing your daughter, not losing, but um, uh, being separated from your daughter, how then do you continue? What, what, what made you or what helped you um, step out of that uh, dark well, in, in, if I may say uh, so? where you mm. found yourself uh, with all that pain and suffering you were experiencing, what helped? Uh, well, I think uh, everything has been designed by the universe beautifully. Mm. Um, our life is all about uh, a great uh, fertilizer. <laughs> all those challenges, I call it a fertilizer, a great fertilizer if I was a plant. Uh, which uh, helped me grow uh, and move forward, know myself deeper and better. Mm -hmm. So first time when I uh, decided to uh, open my border, uh, when I did my lockdown for the first time, <laughs> I'm lucky. I'm lucky this year. <laughs> you, you chose it then. This year is imposed. <laughs> I'm lucky this year. I'm not alone. Uh, so this is my second lockdown, to be honest. Um, uh, where I I uh, been doing the lockdown with the the the, the people all uh, in ar around the world, yeah. Mm -hmm. So in the past, I was alone. Uh, did the lockdown. My mom, uh, my mom gave me such a w uh, strong words uh, when I didn't want to go out from my rooms for a few months, and uh, this mother <laughs> actually. A mother actually has been a strength and weaknesses. Mm. <laughs> a mother always knows how, how to um, motivate, how to lifting mm. us uh, from all the struggle. Mm. So I'm very grateful to have my mom who loves me dearly, mm. and um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> Ah. Yeah. So my mom. Mm. My mom has been everything for me. Mm. Mm. Thankfully, she she has been always my side. Mm. No matter situation I have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What um, she said: If you don't want to go out from the room, kill yourself again softly. But before that, you will see my dead body outside of the room. Mm. That was actually what she said when I didn't want to make any interaction with anyone during those uh, struggles mm. for a few months after I got divorced. Mm. Mm. Because 
again, I, I couldn't, I couldn't help my myself, mm. and I didn't know how, mm. how to help myself, mm. Mm. overcome all those uh, pain and mm. uh, struggles inside me. Think, think about my blood, my daughter, and. Uh, deal with my new marital status, mm -hmm. divorced, mm -hmm. which has been a taboo to talk mm -hmm. here in Bali, mm -hmm. in my society. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I was glad, I was glad uh, my mom said those uh, mm -hmm. uh, strong words, mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of uh, mm -hmm. a treat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to help me out uh, from mm. my room mm. Mm. and I I promised to her since then I decided to made a new uh, step mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I step out mm -hmm. I open my border mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and continue my study in university mm. Mm. then I met many different women mm who struggles with many different issues, mm -hmm. which I didn't realize mm. till I met more and more women. Mm. Not only divorced women, mm. also women who struggles with having children or fertility issue, mm. Mm. having children with special needs and, and mm. many different issues mm. which has been taboo mm. to talk here in our society. Right. Then the idea came on my head. Mm -hmm. How can those women come together and share mm -hmm. their stories? Mm -hmm. Because I found mm -hmm. the more I share, the, the more I heal. Mm -hmm. And I found it's a natural way of healing yes. when I share my stories, yes. like, like what I'm doing now. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I know it's still, the pain is still there, but it's uh, becoming lighter. Well, surely I can, I can imagine when there's uh, someone to listen, and um, what you said about meeting these many other women who had also gone through some um, kind of pain of of their own, and uh, realizing that you are not alone. So. It's in a way it brings us to to realizing that that there is that humanness that we have, and uh, as we as we are able to have a voice and to have ears to listen to the other, uh, and share that that those struggles that we all go through. Um, yeah. So in a way, how lucky to have had your mother, and then to have had all those other yes. women who, in a way, now you help. But they also helped you at that time, it seems, from what yes, I hear. Yes, exactly. Mm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's all about uh, how we allowing it, mm. allowing ourselves mm. to choose um, a right way of communication. Mm. Mm. It can be too human, mm -hmm. it can be too nature, it can be. Mm. We do have we do have uh, choices mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and this is my choice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about this, this choice that you made, Sadi, uh, about this project. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I choose, I choose to be happy no matter what my situation was. Mm -hmm. It started when I running a school mm -hmm. for children and adults with special needs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which uh, universe designed to my second life, my second journey, I call it. Mm -hmm. When I struggles, I think not only myself, when we struggles, there's always something, there's always people, there's always a place, there's always situation. Mm -hmm. um, there, mm -hmm. provided by the universe mm -hmm. to help us overcome all those challenges and all I'm doing is not something new but I do CPI copy paste improvise <laughs> copy paste improvise I like that <laughs>
because it has been heritage actually by our ancestors mm -hmm. all these beautiful things all these great things mm. start from the three anga i haven't i didn't realize that actually i've been following the three anga the three part of the body mm. the the principle that we have been heritage mm. by balancing all this part of the body uh, healthy and happy then we can um, create our um, joyful life in our daily routine mm -hmm. as well as the three hitakarana mm -hmm. so i think everyone know what is hit three hitakarana mm -hmm. the three cause of happiness mm -hmm. the three okay. cause of joy can you briefly, uh, just briefly translate Trihita Karana for those who might not, <laughs> not uh, have heard? Yes, uh, Trihita Karana is the three cause of the joy, the happiness, by taking care, taking a good care of our relationship between human to God, the parahyangan, mm -hmm. human to human, the pawongan, and human to uh, nature, palamahan. Mm -hmm. Then we can create our um, happiness in our life mm -hmm. because often we could not uh, see uh, that we not really balance all this relationship that I mentioned before mm -hmm. as well as the three anga mm -hmm. the three part of the body mm -hmm. so I started with taking care of children which is the feet mm -hmm. then the neck which is the women mm. so i put the woman position in our body in our three anga on the neck mm -hmm. the lead the move mm -hmm. this takes very important roles especially here in our uh, balinese society sure. then now finally uh, from the uh, children and adult with special needs and regular children that i used to taking care I've been to taking care uh, and then move uh, to the neck, the women's center. Now we complete. We complete our work. <laughs> we complete the three anga by putting the head, mm. by involve, by embrace mm. uh, or the male, mm -hmm. the head, the decision maker. Mm -hmm. I like that very much, <laughs> Sadi. I, I understand uh, the need for. Um, women to be supported for women's voices to be able to express themselves but i do appreciate very much that uh, once you had strengthened that you also included the the male mm -hmm. uh, i i personally believe quite strongly in in that balance that we are able to bring with both yes. so it means nowadays you have uh, not only women in the center but also men Yes, yes, we embrace everyone mm -hmm. because this again need to be balanced. Mm -hmm. We need each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I agree. So tell us what are some of the activities that are happening in the center? What, uh, so also I'd love to hear from you. How, how do they find you? And could you give us a little overview? How, how do the women find you? and then what is going on here in this center yes definitely i always uh, love to share how <laughs> how everyone end up here <laughs> so we almost <laughs> we uh, we often uh, have a joke here <laughs> where if you are not special needs <laughs> If you don't have any challenges, you are not here. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you're still human being, you are not here. <laughs> I'm in the right place then. <laughs> <laughs> because um, uh, I think, uh, again, I, I believe so much in energy. When we uh, choose our energy, it's flowing. Hmm. So no matter uh, what energy you choose in, uh, pleasant or unpleasant, it's will flowing around mm -hmm. in your uh, cycle or society. Mm -hmm. So how they end up here, uh, they 
heard from a friend and another friend, uh, words of mouth mm -hmm. and also social media. So mm -hmm. thanks to digital thingy thingy things. <laughs> what, what makes them come here? Is it because they have um, they have themselves divorced or they are going through divorce or is it not only for women who have divorced but perhaps women who need it, a job or an activity? It's mix. Okay. Everything you just mentioned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like nasi champur. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so probably people doesn't know what this nasi champur means. <laughs> nasi champur is a mix of uh, dish in one plate <laughs> where you taste all the sour, the sweet, uh, all those things. It's all here. Uh, all here. <laughs> uh, what we what we could uh, sh uh, say is uh, uh, we all those people is like a, a road of light map. Yeah, uh, where all background are here. Mm. So not only divorced, uh, uh, mm. having fertility, uh, financial struggles, um, uh, mental and physical uh, abuse, or all those mix, as mm -hmm. well as um, gender. Mm -hmm. So children, uh, mm -hmm. adults, uh, mm -hmm. male and female. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's it's all mix, mm -hmm. like uh, like uh, the food of the pigs that we are <laughs> that uh, we are making uh, every day here. Good. So mix of everything, right. and um, yeah, they they heard about us, uh, uh, words of mouth, uh, social media, mm -hmm. um, including um, uh, articles uh, as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, some of them also uh, saw me on TV <laughs> mm -hmm. because sometimes I, I really don't know who coming here <laughs> and uh, um, yeah help us uh, more famous <laughs> because because this uh, need to be spread uh, around sure I can see a good yeah. role of uh, social media for for such projects. Uh, here and around the world and tell us I, I the activities can, I can see the ladies are uh, <laughs> doing something quite laborious there in the background yes can you tell us a little bit about the activity yes we we do have uh, multiple uh, activities uh, to keep uh, everyone productive mm -hmm. not just busy being busy mm -hmm. because uh, I personally believe when everyone uh, productive with uh, joyful and meaningful mm. activities, yeah. it will avoid them from any negativity. Mm -hmm. So we do have a uh, uh, wellness product here, like uh, this uh, ladies doing, so they doing um, <laughs> uh, coconut oil uh, processing where um, this part of a way uh, that I've uh, created to uh, give them choice um, to express express their feelings. So instead of instead of throwing stuffs <laughs> and fighting uh, verbally, orally uh, one to another, why don't they squish? <laughs> why don't they squeeze uh, all those coconuts and like the girls? Why don't they uh, chop uh, uh, or grate uh, coconut? You know, mm -hmm. uh, chop sambal mata. You know, uh, mix uh, <laughs> sure, some physical release through the yes, uh, yes, physical yes. activity, some uh, emotional releases, perhaps. Yes, yeah. we do gardening. So if if you feel uh, need uh, release uh, release your feelings then uh, take uh, the cycle cut uh, grass <laughs> give to the cows or digging and planting so it's, it's all about uh, giving choices mm -hmm. uh, choices to express mm -hmm. express their feelings mm -hmm. uh, in in a safe way okay beautiful and, <laughs> and so besides the um, so they are making some oil here? Uh, yes we do make a, a virgin coconut oil both uh, method a hot and cold methods mm -hmm. and over there behind our girls also uh, preparing uh, the well um, the herbal tea stuffs mm -hmm. and as well as the boy there uh, greater coconut for uh, coconut uh, sambal uh, the spice and another few uh, boys also so 
doing there. <laughs> so there's a, so sambal, that means there's a, a cooking happening here? Uh, well. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, cooking, gardening, um, also many different workshops. Mm -hmm. It's all about, uh, again, keep everyone productive as well as giving them uh, life skills mm -hmm. uh, to be able to uh, be multitasking and uh, give them many possibilities and opportunities to be able to apply mm -hmm. apply it into a work field mm -hmm. uh, in the future. Mm -hmm. But of course, uh, most of them end up stuck here mm. <laughs> because they love to be here. <laughs> 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 and, and, and now from all those multiple programs that we're running here, some of them turn into social enterprises. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Which uh, generate income for our center because, of course, we don't want to always uh, mm -hmm. depend on others. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I remember that's a very strong point that you want to make across uh, in somehow the, the discussions that happen in this place mm -hmm. with the people who come here, the importance of uh, independence, the importance of uh, finding uh, that which you love to do. Uh, and not necessarily being uh, placed in, 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 in something that it's you, you're no longer doing with your full intention and heart. I yeah. know you do place great emphasis in that and that's wonderful to see the diversification of activities that happen in the center. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So, yes, you know, I feel um, having come here and ex experienced the the company of, of of the people who come here to the center either for work or they sometimes even just come to hang out here because yes. like you said it's so pleasant to be surrounded by this um, friendly and kind a compassionate environment um, I feel it's a it's a wonderful way to to move through whatever is uh, challenging for Mm -hmm. our, ourselves, but also to expand beyond ourselves into the the including of, of the other, which you do so beautifully here, Sadi. It's a, Thank you. quite a, Thank a you. source of inspiration <laughs> for many of us. Uh, you are a, you and the activities that you do in this place are a very beautiful example of altruism. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It's all about uh, giving opportunities. Mm -hmm opportunities to know about ourselves mm -hmm. and then we understand others mm -hmm. better mm -hmm. and again this is not something new it has been formed into our philosophies besides the three hitakarana three anga all the three mm -hmm. <laughs> three pramana all those three uh, philosophies as well as the, the tatuam asi mm -hmm. i'm you you are me we are one mm -hmm. so we yeah. need each other yeah. Absolutely. To learn and share. Sadi, if, um, if you were to, um, well, before I ask that, that question, I would like to know what was or what has been uh, one of the biggest challenges that you have encountered into creating this, this center here in mm -hmm. Payangan. This is in the north of Ubud. Uh, in a very beautiful piece of land uh, with lots of trees uh, where you have now the space mm -hmm. and yet I imagine it has also been uh, challenging. What, what has been the most challenging aspect of creating this? Yes, thank you for the great question. Mm -hmm. uh, life is challenge. <laughs> <laughs> if we look at the human being, uh, the biggest challenge is when people don't want to go out of the box. Mm. Even there are many possibilities and opportunities, we cannot do anything mm. because they have no willingness. Mm. Because the key of the succeed is the wow. <laughs> we can sing later. <laughs> we can sing this, this form into our PKP rule song that we, are, we can share later. So the wow is willingness, ability, opportunity. So we give opportunities a lot mm -hmm. through people, through places and experiences. Mm -hmm. And I personally believe they're able to. But if they don't willing, then we respect it. Mm -hmm. 
And another challenge is if we uh, see from the work side, funding. Mm -hmm. Because fund is the tool mm. to move these beautiful activities forward. Mm -hmm. sure. no, matter, no matter what kind of skills you give to others, to the communities, mm -hmm. you, no matter what ideas mm -hmm. <laughs> you have mm -hmm. and share, mm -hmm. in the end, funding mm -hmm. to move it. Mm -hmm. to make it happening. Mm -hmm. yes. That's the biggest challenge. Mm -hmm. So this is why I previously mentioned from many multiple programs that we're running, some of them, and even all of them, need to be turned into social enterprises. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because mm -hmm. after they learned many different skills, we need to have market yeah. for those uh, products mm -hmm. or uh, to uh, for those um, people who need to be placed mm -hmm. in a certain uh, mm -hmm. workplace mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. areas. I can see. And it's, it's, it's almost like in order for this project to keep happening, uh, there needs to be obviously a consumer behind who, who, who wants the catering or the sewing yeah. products that you do or the coconut oil. And I think it's a more and more uh, in life is important to to see what what is behind the products we consume and yeah. and uh, realize that there's many ways in w in which we can help projects yeah. like like yours many many we have all menus here <laughs> okay, <that's good. laughs> you would if you are here please do come and visit us uh, this has been the best uh, uh, the top uh, best uh, way Mm. Uh, to support us by coming to our jungle mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because we have everything here mm. that you can see. Yeah. If you are abroad, not here in Bali, please do have visit our website and all the social media mm. how you could uh, uh, support mm -hmm. our beautiful things. Thank you, Sadi. Thank you. Before we finish, <laughs> I'd like to ask you one last uh, question. If you were going to send um, a message to others um, who struggle out there, what, what would that message be? There are many messages, <laughs> but from what I experienced uh, in my life so far, first thing that people need to have is be open, open yourself. Mm. Allowing yourself mm. to do L A F. L A F. <laughs> Look, <laughs> ask, and feel. Mm. Go out of the box. Mm. Do the left. Mm. Do more observation. Mm. More often. Mm. Meet as many people as you could go to many different places and experience many different situations. No matter pleasant or unpleasant, um, pleasant or unpleasant, especially unpleasant, mm. as I mentioned before, the unpleasant or challenges is your greatest fertilizer. <laughs> <laughs> you can think about that. Mm. If you were a plant, how can the plant grow? Isn't it because great fertilizer? <laughs> the more fertilizer, the more challenges you have, mm. you get in life, mm. the more you know yourself. So I can imagine this is a message that you share with the, with the women here directly. Yes. Speak with them. I myself love to forcing them, <laughs> but not in a negative way. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. Yes. I forced them at the beginning, yes, they felt not pleasant sometimes, mm. yeah, for some people. Mm -hmm. But in the end, they don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> they stuck here. <laughs> because they can see mm -hmm. there are many possibilities. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm being a mother, being a woman, I know, I know how to help my society. Mm -hmm especially my Balinese people, mm -hmm. Beautiful. the women, mm -hmm. go out of the box, mm -hmm. be honest mm -hmm. and believe.
Believe you are not alone. You are not alone. There are thousands of people out there who will be there for you and will help you. I believe everyone born with their soulmate. Not a specific relationship, but someone who you can listen to. A place or a situation which help you to move forward and be able to overcome your challenges. Especially now in this uncertain time, the COVID, who can make sure when it will end? Exactly. What you can do is being AFA. <laughs> A-F-A. Adaptable, flexible, and adjustable. <laughs> I will take that with me. AFA. <laughs> that would be my, my mantra. <laughs> yeah, what is AFA? <laughs> APA is AFA. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's a good message for, for this very moment in particular. Yeah. Thank you, Sadi, so much for Thank this you. time with us. And um, perhaps you have a, a something else that you would like to bring into here. I think I had a little request. So <laughs> let's have a look. Go, go, wow. wow. The wow, the wow of the sand, the wow, the wow, the wow of the sand. W is for willingness. How badly do we want this? W is for willingness. How badly do we want this? Wow, the wow, the wow of the sand, the wow, the wow, the wow of the sand. A is for ability. We can do it. Yes, we can. A is for ability.